At the midway mark in the second half, still waiting for the first goal. Noble Akello waiting for his Major League Soccer debut. Akello celebrating his 20th birthday yesterday. Noble, thanks so much for taking the extra time with us today. Now, you're down in Orlando for the MLS's back tournament, but you have celebrated some pretty big milestones while you've been down there. First off, you celebrated a big 2-0, 20 years old. Happy birthday. How did it feel to, to be celebrating the 20 right down in Orlando? Yes, it was good. Obviously, it was different because we're in a different place, Orlando, and we're in quarantine sometimes, so can't really do much or go out, but it's a good feeling turning 20, and I'm happy that um, with my teammates and having a good time. You're probably surrounded by all your teammates. You guys anything special or did they, they do anything for you while you were down there? I'm just a little cake, so I'm just sweet. Couldn't really do much because we have to prepare for games, but it was still fun, you know? But when I get home, I'll probably do something a little bit more. Of special. course, you have to, you have to. And you also celebrated your TFC debut, so congratulations on that as well. How did Thank it feel to step out on the pitch with the first team? Uh, I, to be honest, I took it in more afterwards because I was just focused on playing. But when I, when after the game, when I really took it in, I was in the club since I was like 12. And then I finally got to play with the, with the first team. It was a good feeling, you know, so happy about that. Did you get a lot of calls back from home, you know, congratulating you and you when they finally yeah. saw you on the TV? Yeah, all my friends, all my, uh, my parents too. So it was a good feeling. Big special moment. Now, looking yeah. forward to you're heading into the knockout round. What are you personally looking forward to going into the knockout round and beyond? Well, I'm just looking forward to our team doing well and preparing well for the games. And I'm hoping that we can continue to our success, honestly. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to get better in training. And if my opportunity comes again, I'll be ready. Well, you speak about opportunity, and we've seen more and more opportunities for young guys like yourself to get out there. So. How, does it, how has it been working with the first team down in Orlando, especially being together every day? Um, well, working with the first team every day is something that I always wanted to do. I mean, last year I got the opportunity, but now that I'm with them almost every day, I feel like like all of us young players are getting better and maturing as well because we're, we're men as well. So I feel like it's a good thing for us that we're with, it, with the first team more often. And, you know, one of those big opportunities came for, you know, your fellow friend and teammate, Ayo Akinola. Now, he mentioned yeah. after the New England Revolution match. I've known him since I was, what, 14. So just to see a friend of mine join just through the academy, just to see him developing and uh, just finally getting his opportunity to make his MLS debut. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of him. So I hope just, I just hope he still continues that path. How has it been watching, you know, his incredible run and being able to, to share these milestones together? Yeah, I mean, it's always good seeing him do well because he's like my brother. So, yeah, when he scored the hat trick, especially, it was such a good feeling because I know he's worked hard to achieve great things. So, I'm just happy for him and other players that will get their chance maybe soon or later on. But especially, I, I'm happy that he did well and took his chance when he got it. Now, what kind of conversations have you had uh, in Orlando going through this experience together with the, your fellow teammates, your friends, coaches? Um, honestly, like we've gotten like closer together, I'd say, first of all, like I think that being like together as a team, like every day seeing each other, I think we just come closer, like conversations have been like more deep. So I think that it's good that, that we're, we're together. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, obviously, like you said, you're, you're together a lot. So what have you been doing in your spare time trying to keep yourself busy, you know, on off days or days where you're only trained? So how are you keeping yourself busy? Um, a lot of video games, yeah. a lot of uh, <laughs> just chilling with my friends, making calls back home, talking to other people, so. You gotta keep busy at least somehow, right? Yeah. Well, you're just getting started and we're excited to see what comes for you in your career and we wish you the best of luck. And thank you so much for taking the extra time with us today and then best of luck on Sunday. Thank you, I appreciate it.